Let's start with the question. Why, how did Ted Farrow have, Omega, clearance? Towards the end of the game. It's revealed that Ted Farrow possesses a security clearance level. Omega. Which seems to elicit surprise from at least some team members. That exceeds. Those of other, Alpha, team members and presumably even Elizabeth's, Alpha Prime, clearance. He exploits this to seal the remaining, Alpha, members in a room. Block their system access. Murder them by venting the atmosphere. And delete Apollo. My question is, how did he get this elevated clearance level? Elizabeth appears to despise him and certainly seems far too intelligent to deliberately trust him. With any such thing. She basically blackmails him into funding Zero Dawn and handing her complete control over the project. So where did his access level come from? Did Elizabeth set it up for him? One of the other team members. Is there a text or audio data point that explains how Ted Farrow ended up with so much power within the Zero Dawn project? So how can we solve this? There's one possible answer. Answer 1. Out of game answer per my question on HZD. Anniversary AMA. Ben McCaw confirms that Omega Clearance is the backdoor Ted mentions to Gaia and rather than having Gaia create this, he would task his engineers to implement this without Sobek's knowledge. How did Ted Farrow obtain Omega Clearance? This is a question many players have thought about. And it is never explained in the story how Ted Farrow obtained Omega Clearance. There is a datalog that mentions Ted wanting a backdoor into Gaia Prime. And fan theories believe Omega Clearance is that backdoor. But I am curious to how Omega Clearance truly came to be Ben. Oh, that's a great question. Ted had had his engineers create the backdoor. Gaia wouldn't have done it for him. Ben, just to be clear, Ted would have had his engineers create the back door. Gaia wouldn't have done it for him. Partial. In game answer as at Vemonis's answer clearly lays out. There is no in-game explanation of how Ted obtained Omega clearance. The only solid evidence we have of Omega clearance existing is the emergency record. There is. However. Another audio recording with Ted yelling at his engineers for not implementing a backdoor into the Faro robots. Entangled waveforms. Code expert, the protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Quantum encryption, black quartz stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded, so that's what we delivered. Ted Faro, you don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a back door. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. Code expert, you specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a back door in code. Every protocol to black quartz standard. Your words. Look. If you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. Ted Farrow, I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts team or Swarm. Code expert, I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So naturally, Ted would have wanted a backdoor into an investment in the event he lost control. Gaia agrees to Ted's proposal for creating a backdoor. But Sobek disagrees and we never heard anything else relating to this discussion. Due to Sobek's reluctant attitude towards this, Ted would have went around her and tasked his engineers to create a mega clearance. Since Gaia initially agreed with Ted, I doubt she would have considered this a suspicious act. I hope this answer helped, and if it did, please drop a comment and subscribe.